In this time of great challenges, as we steer our way through the difficult issues the coronavirus has caused, please be concerned, but also understand that fear itself creates more problems. When shopping, please don't buy more than you normally would. Right now, panic purchases are causing more panic purchases, which has caused shortages of many items that are plentiful. It's just that the stores are not used to ordering so much. A great example is that there is no shortage of toilet paper except that people are buying more than normal, emptying the normal daily supply. Every year here in the U.S., we have been losing thousands and even tens of thousands of precious lives to other seasonal flus during the annual flu season, but we did not panic as we suffered those tragic losses. Yes, there are a few items that are in short supply, such as hand sanitizer or cleaning wipes, but this is America. So there are industries stepping up to fill those needs right now. So please don't buy more than you absolutely need. Panic is not the answer. However, being considerate is a big help in calming the damage panic creates. Those at the highest risk are our senior citizens and individuals with pre-existing health conditions and they do need our help. So contact your senior citizen relatives or friends to see if they need you to shop for them. If you feel it is safer, you can drop their groceries at their doorstep. But if we protect our senior citizens and those with vulnerable health conditions from being exposed, it will make a huge difference in the lethality of this flu. Also, take advantage of this time to call or email those who are isolated right now. Just visit, catch up. This is a time we can be great encouragers of each other. Solidify relationships for the future. We're also hearing there is a need for blood donations, which can be done safely. There are many ways to help. Look for them. Nothing increases our own mental health like helping someone else. Additionally, keep in mind that the presidential proclamation for a day of prayer doesn't have to be just one day. If you believe in the power of prayer, pray. If you don't, you still may want to try it. I believe God has blessed America more than any nation in world history with individual opportunities and assets, and I would submit even more so than Solomon's Israel. This is a critical time to remember the source of all truly good gifts. In the meantime, remember, God can bless us through each other if we're willing.